Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 Titan build guide. This week is something a, a bit different with a PvP focus showcase instead of PvE. After messing around with Heart of MS Light last week and getting a number of requests for a PvP build over time, I want to show you guys how you can bring your Striker Titan abilities to the next level. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and leave any feedback in the comments on what you'd like to see next. I've even been considering expanding this channel beyond Titan content specifically, so if that's something you'd like to see, let me know. If you have a Hunter or Warlock build that you really feel isn't having too much time in the limelight, let me know. I'd love to give it a showcase, love to try out the builds that you guys have been using this season. Getting back to this build though, let's start off with the end goal of this build and keep what we're aiming for in mind which is chaining our abilities as much as we can, along with making them as deadly as possible in the Crucible. I'm talking about one-shot grenades and even deadlier shoulder charge area of effect damage on top tree striker. Honestly, with this build, you don't even need to rock specific weapons as getting our abilities back is insanely easy and is so consistent with this setup. One of the biggest problems with a lot of builds involving ability spam is if you break the chain of regeneration, you're often stuck for a long amount of time without being able to use any of your abilities and you have this huge gap in your gameplay where you can't take advantage of your build. I have rarely seen that with this build. There's always some way to get one or another ability back. And even in cases where you do mess up or you might hit that break in that chain of ability spam, there are numerous ways to help you get it back. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Again, we are gonna be on Top Tree Striker. For those who don't know, the main purpose of this is actually Magnitude, which is an ability that gives us a second grenade charge. And I personally recommend Lightning Grenades with this setup, simply because Lightning Grenades in PvP already hit for a lot. And with this setup, they're actually gonna be able to one-shot most Guardians all throughout the crucible and let me tell you if you've ever played control if you've ever played just like casual 6v6 where people are often bunched up throwing this by a capture zone throwing this near a spawn or down a lane that a lot of people like to sit or approach from it's it's insane for our exotic for today we're gonna to be using heart of inmost light this is something that's essentially going to buff our ability regen and our ability damages and our barricade hit points enabling us to have constant abilities all throughout the match and making them even more deadlier than before basically using any of our abilities and powers the other ones, increasing their regen, increasing their damage. And this is something that enables us to literally use our weapons only whenever we absolutely have to. Most of the engagements in this match using this build are gonna allow us to open up with an ability, giving us a huge advantage over everyone else. So without further ado, let's go right into the setup. So for our helmet, I'm rocking heavy handed. For those that don't know, whenever we are charged with light and we use our charge melee ability, in this case, it's our shoulder charge, we get half of our melee energy back and it consumes one stack of charge with light. This is absolutely huge as our shoulder charge, while it might not be the greatest ability overall, it is a one shot kill ability and those are always valuable in Crucible. So using this, even after we get a kill, we're going to have at least half of our melee back which means that any kind of melee and specific strength investment is highly appreciated with this build. We're also gonna be rocking two sets of Ashes to Assets simply because getting those grenade kills, which we're gonna be spamming a ton of, is gonna help us get our super. You could also rock hands-on, but using heavy handed would only allow for one of those. And I feel like getting two Ashes to Assets is just simply better. And again, we're also rocking two grenades that are going to one shot. And these grenades last for a long time meaning that we're effectively getting more grenade kills than shoulder kill, shoulder charge kills, even though we're getting a ton all around. Moving on to our gauntlets, we're then gonna be rocking Radiant Light. This is simply to get plus 20 strength on our character. As you can see with our investment, I'm currently rocking 90 strength in order to get that melee charge back as fast as we can, along with 70 plus discipline, just so we're getting our abilities back as fast as we can. I'm also gonna be rocking Momentum Transfer, which is just simply causing damage with our grenade reduces our melee cooldown. If you wanted to, you can definitely use the seasonal mod Impulse Recycler, meaning that whenever you got a final kill with that grenade, and again, it is going to one shot, so that's fairly simple to do, you can get grenade energy back on that kill. I'm personally rocking momentum transfer because I'm focusing on both our grenade and melee for PvP. If you wanna go full grenade investment, you can totally do this. I'm also rocking fastball just for more consistent grenade throws. If you're anything like me, you will notice a difference having fastball on versus having it off. To me, it's just a must for a lot of things because oftentimes you try to throw a grenade and you don't have passable on and it goes half the distance, you end up wasting your charge, you don't get much out of it. And especially with lightning grenades, if you mess up a throw, oftentimes they'll aim right at the floor or they'll go somewhere off in the distance where no one's standing versus where a huge crowd of people would normally be. 
So having fastball on allows us to have a much more consistent and reliable grenade throw, and there's a lot less kind of lobbing effect when throwing our grenade. Moving on to our chest piece, we also are gonna be rocking Charge Harvester. For those that don't know, anytime that we are not charged with light, any kill or assist has basically a small cumulative chance to become charged with light. So each time we either get an assist in the crucible, each time we get an elimination in the crucible, we have a chance that builds up over time of becoming charged with light. And this is gonna be our number one way of becoming charged with light in PVP. Uh, there is another way that we're also going to be implementing on our boots, but I found this is the most reliable across the board, whatever you end up using, because the maps do vary, and certain weapons might be more viable on other maps. As far as anything else in our chest beats, it's up to your discretion. Then onto our boots, I'm rocking quick charge. For those that don't know, uh, you become charged with light by rapidly getting multiple kills with shotguns or fusion rifles. I actually main chaperone in the crucible. I have over 9,000 kills with the thing. It is absolutely insane. So I often use this when I'm using charge with light builds because it's something I'm very familiar with. But if you wanted to say, um, use something like swift charge and be use it with primaries, such as like with a pulse rifle, a sidearm or a submachine gun, or whatever charge with light mod that directly affects your specific weapon that you use for PVP, this is where I recommend doing that. Again, on our chest piece, we have Charge Harvester, which is going to randomly give us stacks of Charge with Light. But just in case you want to have an additional way to do this, this is what this mod slots for. Equip whatever primary weapon or energy weapon that you use in the Crucible that helps you get those multi-kills, and this is an effective way to become Charged with Light. Onto our boots, we're then rocking Quick Charge. For those that don't know, Quick Charge allows us to become Charged with Light after getting multi-kills with shotguns and fusion rifles. And using another Arc mod, it allows us to greatly increase our ready speed for fusion rifles, shotguns, submachine guns, and swords, which is overall a pretty nice effect to have in the background. In order to proc this, we're using Invigoration, which allows us to have a decreased melee cooldown each time we pick up an Orb of Power. Again, this isn't something too crazy. If you have the room for it, definitely rock Absolution. I'm just using it to proc that background with Quick Charge, as again, I use Chaperone primarily in the Crucible, and it is something fairly noticeable. Traction is again just something to have a greater turning radius while we're sprinting, a nice kind of background effect for any Crucible build. Um, but if you find something else there, like a Scavenger mod, go right ahead, put that there. As far as weapons for this build, it's really up to you. I personally am using Chaperone because it is my go-to weapon for Crucible. I'm also rocking Ancient Gospel and a Tomorrow's Answer, a pretty standard loadout for what I do in PvP. But again, it's up to yours entirely. Whatever weapon that you like to use, simply switch out Quick Charge in order for any other Charge with Light mod to work effectively with your go-to weapon. So again, you can use a sniper rifle, you can use an SMG, you can use a shotgun, you can use a fusion rifle. You can use whatever you want and it'll work perfectly with this build because it doesn't directly rely on the weapons you use except for the mod which you can on your own accord pick so this is really adaptable for basically any arc titan build or just standard pvp set that you use and i highly encourage you to give it a try this is something that if you're doing iron banner with friends if you're just messing around in control if you're just doing a quick game of rumble whatever it is i recommend you give this a shot it's incredibly fun and it's a breath of fresh air from our normal builds that we kind of do on this channel but if you guys like what you saw today, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let me know down below if there's any other kind of content you'd like to see. Again, I'm considering expanding the channel beyond Titan class only. And I want to do a lot of different videos for you guys showcasing builds like this or other Destiny 2 content in general. So let me know what you think down below. Again, hit the like button. Share with a friend if you think they'd like something like this. Subscribe to the channel for more Destiny 2 content. And I'll see you guys in the next one.